All right, people, here is the deck profile for Silent Magician. So, yes, the prerogative thumbnail is gone. <laughs> I apologize. I didn't, I, it wasn't meant to be clickbait. Like, literally, I searched up Yu Gi Oh! Silent Magician, and of course, she's a girl, something's gonna pop up, and uh, that, that image that popped up was like, it fit perfectly. It was a nice image for the thumbnail. It's like, screw it, we'll go with it. Silent Magician, I mean, come on. So, uh, I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of spellcaster, a little bit of pendulum, a little bit of everything. It wasn't a terrible deck, but it's not a great deck as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So not only is it just a Silent Magician deck, but it's also a spellcaster deck. So everybody in here is a spellcaster. So we got the magicians, the pendulum magicians. So uh, three dragon pit, three uh, oaf, and the one insight. So that's generally the engine that I run, just just these seven monsters. If it's a small pendulum engine, then it's just these seven and of course broken ass pendulum call. I can't forget that. Skullcrab Joker, nice normal summon to get to search. I mean I mean come on. Uh, there's no performer paladin here, but we got the magician, so it works just as well. Uh, because I am running spellcasters, it means I get access to a very powerful spellcaster, of course, being Keating. Uh, Keating should probably get hit, but, um, you know, what's he gonna do? Uh, MVP of the Euro WCQ and, uh, just a boss-ass bitch and very difficult to deal with, so. Yep, that was fun to be able to come to him some of this. Uh, now thinking about it, especially, uh, if you haven't seen, uh, since you're getting double daily duels today, if you haven't seen already, uh, the deck replacing it, normal pendulum. I actually threw it in uh, Bumkaboo. I could throw Bumkaboo in here too. Yeah, I could, I could, but no, the deck is it's fine. I could probably take out a couple of cards, but I think I like it like this. Like maybe drop you down to two, maybe drop this maybe down to like one, you know, maybe take out some of the backer or something. I, I could probably squeeze in some Bumkaboos, but still, it's not as pendulum esque as uh, normal pendulum, so it might be inconsistent in comparison, but yeah. Uh, we have three of the Silent Magician level fours, two of the eights, and we're actually running the level up because I was thinking about doing it in uh, Silent Swordsman, which is the, the deck that this one replaced. But I mean, really, going from what three to three to five, man. I, I was thinking about maybe Pendulum summoning five and then going to seven, so that was the idea. But this, I mean, simply I just summon four and then just rank up and I get three five hundred monsters who's unaffected by spell, uh, spell cards you can't even me. So not bad, not bad. Uh, of course the the main monster that you guys decided to probably base this deck on is the new Silent Magician. Uh, Special Summoner by Tributing Spell Capture Monster against 500 attack for each card in my hand, which is pretty good. She can get pretty strong. Uh, once turned to any post permanent spell card is activated, I can negate it. Uh, this card is show a battle by card effect. I can Special Summon one uh, Silent Magician monster from my deck and on Summon Magician, so you kill her, I can summon her. Simple as that. Uh, we run Triple Choco Magician Girl because there's some spell catchers that I don't mind drawing and pitching, so uh, I'm glad to go ahead and do that. Like I said, this is necessary, and then because of spell catchers, I'm running Choco Magician Girl went with two Trick Clowns because you can actually go Choco Magician Girl, pitch Trick Clown, summon back Trick Clown, make him see play, or you can just have Trick Clown in Graveyard and if they attack on Choco Magician Girl, you know, you'll summon Trick Clown back. With 1600, their attack will get half, so if they're 3200, they'll crash, anything less, they'll die, so not bad. But, uh, yeah, it, it was working. It was working. No shame in Choco Magician Girls game. All right, so that's the monster spells. Regeki, uh, Insta Fusion for that Norden, duh. Uh, I already talked about the two level ups, three Pendulum Call, triple Twin Twister. Uh, nothing special with the spell card either. Trap card, uh, three Solemn Strikes, one Warning, one Bottomless, one Space Time because we are running Rafflesia. So, extra that. I already talked about Norden, Big Eye, because we do have some sevens. We have Seven, yeah, this just in case, just in case. Uh, big eye, uh, M7 because we have some sixes, uh, Utopia, Utopia, the Lightning, Dark Rebellion, uh, Trapeze Magician. I don't think I use them, but you see, there are some level four spellcasters, so I could do it. Uh, Castell, Heartland. I'm starting to do that a lot. If I have a lot of leftover room, I, I think I, in the order that I go, I go Castell, Castell, then I want to say. It's either Dweller or Utopia Light. I think it, I want to say in order. I say Castell, Utopia, Utopia Lightning, Dweller, Dark Rebellion. Then if I have room left over and a lot of the access in toolbox, I probably go uh, Cowboy, Heartland, uh, throwing a one one because why not? Well, Diamond Dyer, of course. Uh, then we have Emerald, and uh, this is theme specific, situational. This is situational. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> 
So overall, not a terrible deck, not a great deck either, but uh, you know, I did what I did. You're probably wondering, where's the spell card? I'm not playing that, because that card is bad, and it breaks rule number one and rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh. Never let your opponent draw, never let your opponent draw. Not only do I can't play it into, unless they have less cards than me, which means that they'll be drawing more than me anyway, but I can only activate it during their battle phase. So it's not like I can just be like, all right, going first, play something, set on my hand, play it, you know, and be like a card of demise, you know? And it's like, all right, we both draw until we have five cards or six. I can't remember what the card reads, but so it's like, yeah, so play my monster, set a whole bunch of cards, play that card. I draw, you know, up to six, let's say six, for example. So I draw like, you know, four or five cards, and you only draw one because I went first. No, I gotta play during your battle phase, which means that you probably played all your cards, set all your cards, and you're gonna play if you have less cards, which means you're drawing more cards than me. It's just, no, no, the card's bad, don't play it. I don't even care if you send a graveyard and search for asylum issue. No, no, so. That's why it's not being played. I bet you guys probably wanted me to play it when uh, you guys select this deck, but nope, 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 nope. Not going to be bad at Yu-Gi-Oh! because you guys want me to be. Simple as that. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the time that Simon Edition went on here. If you haven't checked already, Normal Pension is back on for Tuesdays. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow with another double daily duels. Again, deck profile for the Electromagnetic Warriors and the deck that will be replacing it, which is Dark Lord. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.